like staying still too long. It makes me nervous. Yep. How do you do, sir? Excuse me, Mark. Look here. Paper? Read one of my pamphlets. I explain the exact I'll take difference a paper, between please. the races using <laughs> real science. Let's go, girl. Stay ahead of the news for today's Times Tribune, folks. <laughs> Come, please, take a pamphlet and learn how you can save Monsieur. the white race. I don't think you need to be quite so close. I want you to ask yourself, do I consider myself pure? And then I want you to ask yourself, what is the most disgusting, revolting, vulgar, and depressing thing in all creation? Excuse me, madam. Mingling. You. How do you do? Co-mingling. Nature. Nature likes purity. Hey there. Have you ever heard of a man called Angelo Bronte? Hmm, no. But fancy names like that? Maybe try the Bastille Saloon. Opposite the park with the Quincy Harris statue. Okay. Thank you. Excuse me. I'm trying to find a man named Bronte. You know the name? Bronte? No, I don't think so. I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. Thank you. 
as if the moral turpitude of Sadie needed any further encouragement. Well, you know I have appointments to keep. Hello, mister. Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here, Anon. <laughs> Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I told him, Hello? I said, that's the state of Lamorne for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that, that's why we love it. <clears throat> oh, and excuse me. Mm. Well, I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. I now, how can I help? I you look like a whiskey man. Leave it, friend. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, friend. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte? Mr. Big? Mr. Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss big? Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. <laughs> You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know I guess. Oh, and friend, you, you be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Keep away from me. Buenos dias, senhor. It's really become quite the craze. So you just walk up to any man with a ring on his... Hi there. Have you seen any kids around here? Oh, yeah. Just through that archway there. Hey. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What all costs? 
I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live, New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Some bad bread. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, <laughs> you little pair of shits. Get back here. went that way. Thanks for the help, friend. Good morning to you. You know, I kind of miss old Bob Tails. I don't. Bob's... Hey, you see a kid about 14 years old run through here? Why, yes, we did. He went around the corner there. You better stop right now. Hey! To win. Fellas, you seen a kid come through here? About 14, 15? Oh, yeah, he ran right to us. Ran around the corner there. Good morning to you. I cannot believe it. This is fun, mister. I like cool. you. I understand. Thanks. You give that back! What's the problem, friend? Give me my thanks, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. <gasps> ah. Come on! You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but... I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. 
Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with you. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yokel. Now, get out of here. to you. Where you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Buenos dias, señor. Morning. Uh, some low life's been stealing horses around here. Damn bastards. I'd have told you. Hey, yeah. You watch where you going.
morning to you. Bonjour, monsieur. Tom, can I get another bloody drink over here? Where is Tom? It's too bad. It really is. Can somebody horse whip him for me, please? For the love of all that is wrong. Bonjour, monsieur. Please, can you keep it down a bit, Lillian? Ah, shut up! Bonjour. Hello, gentlemen. Hey there. Thank you for your help. Oh, the happiness. I'm sorry. To truth. One more. To the future. 